On this episode of Hardtail Party, we're starting a new series called Experimental, because you have to be a little bit mental to do the experiments we're about to do here. You guys know we're no stranger to experiments here, whether it's cutting the seat tube on your titanium frame to make a dropper post fit, or under forking a bike, or seeing if we can make an enduro bike as light as possible, all in the name of science. So here's the experiment today. We're gonna take 20 mil out of the fork and add it to the bars. We're going to shorten the cranks five mil, and we're gonna get rid of this lousy Shimano hub. Um, we're gonna get rid of this 12 speed and the derailleur and make it single speed. So in this experiment, I'm trying to push it to the limit. And sometimes that's what you gotta do to discover greatness, is be willing to step outside the box and try crazy things. So while it's great as is, it's possible it could be even greater with some tweaks. If you're new to the channel, you're probably wondering why I would want less travel on such an aggressive bike. There's a couple reasons. Number one, I feel like that much travel, to use a full 150 mil travel, you're hitting some super rowdy stuff. And to bottom that out and use all of that, you're hitting some massive stuff. Stuff that's so massive that the back wheel's just gonna skip over things. It's not gonna track the ground and absorb it as well. So if you're needing more than 130 mil of travel, I would argue you need a full suspension. There's nothing to compress back here, so it just pivots as the front squashes. So when you hit a drop and the front dips, this bike goes from a 63 degree head angle bike to a 70.5 degree head angle. That's significant. So by swapping it to a 130 fork, the range of motion is less and it kind of stays in that sweet spot a little more and you don't feel the geometry changing as much through your ride. So lowering the front end is gonna lower the effective stack and to get that back, we're gonna run a riser bar that's 20 mil higher than this. So our bars are still in the same place but the whole bike's gonna pivot a little on this rear axle. The bottom bracket's gonna drop some, the seat angle's gonna get even steeper, and the head angle will get one degree steeper. We'll see, maybe I'll turn an awesome bike into something horrendous, but you never know until you try. Maybe we'll stumble on greatness, and this thing could run really great under forked. All right, let's get started. This Marzocchi Bomber Z1 is a fantastic fork. But the only way to change it from 150 mil travel to 130 is to buy a different air spring. You take it all apart, you drain the oil, you pop the new air spring in, you reinstall that, put the oil back in, and put it all back together. I don't have an air spring for that, but what I do have is my favorite fork that just came in, a Cane Creek Helm. It's heavier than something like a pike, but it feels so good super tunable. It's also super easy to change the travel at your workstation without losing any oil or anything like that. So I'm really excited to run this. All right, first up, let's convert this to single speed. Now, because we have three hub standards, I'm not able to run the single speed on the same wheel. So I'm gonna be running these on my Nuke Proof Horizon V2 wheels because this has an HG driver. I don't know of any solution that allows you to run a single speed cog on a Shimano micro spline hub, which is what came on this. So I'm just swapping out the whole wheel. Tire's gonna be a little bit different. It's not a total apples to apples comparison, but it's close. For bars, I'm gonna be testing out these Whiskey Carbon Bars, they are the number nine mountain bar. They've got a 40 mil rise, so 20 more mil rise than this. Gonna raise my bars up to 20 mils that I'm losing up front. Uh, they got an eight degree back sweep, five degree up sweep. Thank you, Whiskey, for sending these. I never tried them, but I'm excited to try them. I run a 760 mil bar width. It's cool, it's got kind of like the Envies. It's got the fiber grip kind of gritty surface already applied to it. Um, we're going with a 130 mil, 44 mil offset. I stole this off my titanium middle child. I actually have three of these forks. I love them so much. All right, time to change the front end. I realized my steer tube's long enough. I could have just run the regular bars 20 mil higher, 
but I want to test these bars anyway, so this is a good opportunity to test them. The 175s are off. Let's swap these for 170s. Interesting, this is a 30 tooth chain ring. For some reason, I assumed it was a 32. Frame threads had a little bit of rust in them at the bottom bracket area, so I had to clean that out. Alright. I'm uh, trying molten speed wax on here. It's You melt it in your crock pot and then you dunk your chain in it. It's a clean wax and it dries hard and it should keep the chain clean. We shall see. One thing I really don't like about this bike is that these uh, dropout adjusters take a two and a half mil. A, that's a weak size, and B, that's not a very common size to have on your multi-tool. A lot of multi-tools have it, but a lot don't. I like the stuff on most of the regular Paragon dropouts. If this were my bike, I'd pull this out and replace it with a button head Allen that uses a three or a four. It's a much more common size. If I have to change it on the trail, I'd much rather have a three or a four instead of a two and a half. I also don't love that these are sixes. That's okay, but once again, I think fives would be better just uh, for the multi-tool factor. Man, I love how simple single speeds are. No derailleur cable. All you got are brakes and a dropper. It's beautiful. I wonder if we lost a little bit of weight. Those cassettes aren't light. It was 32.9 before. Let's see. It weighed in at 29.74. We're running a lighter tire. This is a Terravale A-Line 2.3. I'm testing this one out as well. But yeah, that's cool to be able to knock off two pounds and have a simpler setup. I really like single speed. So let's walk through it. We're running the Ergon GD1 factory Evo grips. I really like same brakes, same dropper. Running the Whiskey Carbon Bar with the 40 mil rise up front. A 130 mil King Creek Helm. Uh, same front wheel, same rotor. We just removed the 12 speed, put a GX crank on instead of the, what was on there? Race Face Affect R. And we're running the Nuke Proof Horizon V2 wheel. It's got a good sound. I'll uh, give you that hub sound at the end. Cool, I can't wait to take this on the trail and see if I made it better or worse. It was already a great bike. Can I make it greater with this? We shall see. Thanks for experimenting with me today. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.